Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Rangers, and I'm here to talk about game 33, where the Rangers win 7-1 to over the Chicago Blackhawks. We are so back, bitch! Oh, this one was nice. Isn't it nice to face off against a bad team and, you know, blow them straight to hell like you're supposed to? Isn't that a neat thing to do, Rangers? Ah, uh, feels good. Obviously, the Blackhawks game a couple weeks ago doesn't haunt us like a playoff loss would. But going to Chicago a couple weeks after they blow us out at home and beating the brakes off of them in their house, that felt pretty darn sweet. It was really nice to get that taste out of our mouth. The only way, this game was like a 9.9 .9 out of 10. The only way it could have been a perfect 10 was if after Jacob Truba scored the goal, the entirety of the New York Rangers gathered around him as he held up the puck and sang Circle of Life. So Philip Heedle had to leave the game due to a completely just uncalled for unnecessary cheap shot from the Chicago Blackhawks, which happened early because, you know, we started blowing them away early in this game. So that happened early. The kids line was only together for five minutes this game. Not even quite five minutes. That line was intact for like four and some change. And they still led the team and expected goals for. They were on fire. So it's a little over halfway through the first period and the Rangers would get on the board. It's in the Blackhawk zone. They try to clear it. I believe it was Philip Heedle with a nice play to, you know, kind of get the puck jarred loose. Adam Fox has the puck along the boards, centering pass for Alexi Lafreniere. And Lafreniere playing the loosey-goosey in a good way that we have always been hoping he would finally get back to being that awesome playmaker. And boy golly, was he on this play. It's not a great pass from Fox. Lafreniere doesn't care. To his skate, kicks it right to his stick. Beautiful pass over to Philip Heedle, and he buries it for a 1-0 lead. And the Rangers piled on quickly because a few minutes after that, it's in our zone, but it's a nice play. It was like Jimmy VC and Vinny Trocek both kind of together, kind of jarring the puck wild in the way. But Trocek has a feast to Adam Fox. Fox carries into the offensive zone. And Panarin, who just came speeding in off the bench, buries one on a beautiful feed from Adam Fox. And the Rangers have a 2-0 lead. And soon after that, the Rangers again just piling on. This would be the third goal in pretty rapid succession. It's along the boards in our defensive zone. Philip Heedle just jarring around with it. Puck comes loose. Alexei Lafreniere picks it up and he guns it for the offensive zone. It's a three on two with the entirety of the kids line. It is Lafreniere on the left side, Heedle in the center, and Kako over on the right. Beautiful passing sequence from Lafie to Heedle. And with Heedle where he was... Um, Jones and McCabe, neither one really committed to a player. And it was just this beautiful triangle where the Rangers were almost guaranteed a goal. Heedle feeds one over to Capo Caco and he buries it a beauty, a post scraper, but it's in and the Rangers have a three nothing lead like that. The Blackhawks would get their only goal early in the second period. It's a bad turnover. They get it the other way. Philip Kurashev has it and he feeds it like just trying to center one in the blue paint to try to, you know, get something to go. And Jacob Truba deflects it in. And it happens. It happens. I'm not going to yell at anyone. I'm not mad at Miller or Truba on this play. They defended fine. I'm not mad at Shesterkin, obviously. This was just an unfortunate play and a goal for the Blackhawks. But the Rangers would respond about halfway through the period, snuffing out any momentum Chicago had. It's thrown into our zone. Keandre Miller clears it around the board. So Tammy Panarin picks it up, gives it to Mika Zibanejad, carries into the offensive zone, and fakes a slap shot while dropping it back for Jacob Truba, who blasts a slap shot on net. It goes in. Beautiful goal from Jacob Truba, his second in as many games. And Jacob Truba... Uh, looking at Andreas Athanasiu and asking if he wanted the puck was the funniest part of the game and one of the funniest moments I have ever seen while watching a Rangers game. Like, that was just so petty and so beautiful. And with under 20 seconds to play in the period, the Rangers while on a power play. Mika Zibanejad has the puck, feeds it for Adam Fox, and he fires one looking for a deflection or a rebound or anything. And he gets the deflection from Vinny Trocek, Bangs it in, and the Rangers have a 5-1 lead to end the second period. So you're in the third period now. The Rangers have it in our defensive zone. Lingard gets it to our Tommy Panarin and just chips it out, gets a breakaway for Vitaly Kravtsov, and Caleb Jones, bless his little heart, he tried. It was like a stick lift or a slash, and then he loses the stick. Kravtsov scores anyway, and then he just goes flying into the goaltender to dislodge the net and... That, that's, that's rough for Caleb Jones.
Also, if you're Solder Bloom on that play, you're like, oh no, a breakaway. Surely this is the worst thing that's going to happen to me on this play. And then Caleb Jones just comes flying into you after the puck is behind you. That's, that's rough. And then we get to talk about the best play of the night, which is the Rangers feed it into the offensive zone for a four check. Kapokaka with a nice play along the boards, gets the puck, feeds Brandon Schneider along the blue line, fires one on net, and then it bounces off of Johnny Brodzinski's butt and into the net. Best goal of the season. My favorite part about the play easily is the fact that it was a very, very subtle deflection off of his butt, which meant thousands of fans and dozens of NHL officials were just squinting, watching extreme slow motion replays, staring at Johnny Brodzinski's butt, trying to see if it bounced off of it. I love this sport so much. The offensive performance tonight from the Rangers was extremely impressive because you only had the lines together for the first period and then they got jumbled around after Heedle left. Uh, the kids line played together for four minutes, potted a pair, and led the team in expected goals. They are amazing. If they continue to play like this for the rest of the season, they are going to be unfair. And, I mean, they're growing up, and we kind of got to stop calling the kids line because, well, obviously, they can't call them the kids line forever. Imagine just, like, a bunch of 35-year-olds who are like, oh, look, it's the kids line. And they're like, please stop calling us that. And, like, they've kind of unsubtly said that they want to be called something else, which... If I had to wager a name currently, I would say call them the you gave up on them way too early line. Except for the fact that that's way too wordy. But that line looked fantastic. Panarin looked great. Mika looked great. Fox looked really, really good. Trocek had a solid game. Everyone was good tonight. They looked great. The defense was solid. They allowed 30 shots, but I there were some high danger ones. Like There were some good saves that Igor had to make, but they weren't wasn't like Igor bailed us out tonight. They were 30 relatively low danger shots. I want to say expected goals for the Blackhawks was like 2.22. That was a solid performance from the defense. Igor Shosturkin on that note. Yeah, that wasn't like ridiculous, but hey, 29 of 30 is a damn good stat line for Igor Shosturkin. I thought he played very well tonight. He stopped what he was asked to. Aside from that one weird play that came off of his own player, he didn't allow a goal. Igor played really good. The Rangers are back in full swing. Oh my god, they're so much fun again. So the Rangers, who might be the hottest team in the NHL, go to play who might be the second hottest team in the NHL Tuesday night, 7 o'clock, in Pittsburgh to take on the Penguins, who, uh, after last season in the playoffs, that's going to be a fun game on Tuesday. And I'll be here afterwards to talk about it, but that's all I have to say for the evening. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and as always... Go Rangers.